Hello everyone, this is Harsh and you are watching WPA World. In this video, I am going to show you the version control using the Git. And we will also learn how to upload the code to, to GitHub. I am not going to show you any command of Git. I will use the tool where we have the UI and we will use that tool and we will push, pull and all this thing we will do from that tool. Okay, let's start. What is Git? Git is a free open source version control system. Git is distributed. Every developer has the full history of their code repository locally. It is used for tracking code changes. Like if you change something, then you will get that when we change, if we submit that code to that branch, okay. Tracking who made changes as coding collaboration there, okay. So we can also know who submitted that code, who changed that code and when they change, okay. What is the version control system? Version control system is software that helps software developers to work together and maintain a complete history of their work. Okay, so means when we work together, like we have multiple developer and working on the same feature or same project. So in that case, what happen like we can submit one part of that project, other can submit other part of that project and we can get it together and make the build of that project. Okay, what is the function of VCS? It allows developer to work simultaneously, does not allow overwriting each other changes. Like if we change something and other also change that, it will not allow the override thing, right? Maintain a history of every version. Version control system also maintain the history of every version. How Git works? We have to first create the repository with Git history tool, with Git hosting tool like GitHub and or Bitbucket, okay? Here I will use GitHub. Copy or clone the repository to your local machine. You can clone the repository to your local machine. Okay. Add a file to your local repo and commit the changes. Commit nothing but save the changes. Okay. Push your changes to your main branch. We will have one branch to the Git hosting tool and there we will push the changes. Make a changes to your file with a Git hosting tool and commit. Okay. Pull the changes to your local machine. Like if someone changed the code to that branch, then we have to take the latest code, which is called pull. Create a branch, make a changes, commit the change. Okay. This is what happened in the Git. Okay. Open a pull request. Propose changes to the main branch. Means uh, if someone changed the code and they want to merge to that main branch, means like release branch then they have to raise the pull request and then reviewer will review that code and then that reviewer will approve the code and they can merge that code merge your branch to the main branch how, how to install the git on window to install the git you have to go to this link we have two link you can download from any of the link and install it i don't think i have to explain all the step to install this on window and also you have to install the source tree now go to github.com and click on sign up if you don't have any account on github and follow the step to create one account on github I already have the account so i will log in, log in with my account so i logged in with my account you can see there is an option new to create the new repository and also you will get the option here new repository you can click on new repository and one new page will open to create the repository so we have to give the name for repository i will give name it, it as c sharp app okay after that you have to give the description it is optional you can leave it as blank i will give c sharp demo and here we have two options one is public and private if you click on public then it will be publicly visible like anyone on the internet can see the repository you choose who can commit okay if you make it as private you choose who can see and commit the repository okay to initialize the repository with readme file you have to click this one you can skip this step if you are importing an existing repository so for now i will click on this 
there one git node file is there we will add one git node i will select it as none okay you have to choose the license you can choose none or you can also choose some license from here okay after that you have to click on create repository now repository has been created with readme.md file now we can clone it from here we have the link here we can copy this link to source tree okay and download source tree app from this website source tree app.com you can click download free and it will be downloaded to your system we have the option to download on window download on mac os os you can select download for window to install on window okay download it and install it i hope you know how to install if you have any doubt you can write in comment now i will open the source tree okay you can see this is the source tree and here you have the option to clone okay click on clone here you have to paste the repository path okay so go to the github and copy that path from here click on code click on copy and paste it to source tree okay paste it now come to here where you want to clone that this is the empty folder where we want to clone that repository okay click on clone you can see here there is one branch called main and that repository has been copied let's see the folder structure you can see we have readme.md okay what we added while creating the repository so what i wanted to do i wanted to submit the code what i created in last video okay so i will copy that code to this folder i will paste here okay now let's open the source tree and see the changes you can see these are the things what we added in last project you can see this these are the files now the question is how to submit or upload this code to github okay so to do that you have to stage first so i wanted to submit all the code so i have to click on stage all if you want to submit only one then you can do like this also okay it will be added to staged files for now i will click on stage all okay so you can see here we have this option commit is used to save the changes to the local machine okay if you commit it it will not upload to the repository so here you can write the comment what you did in this changes i will write it as added the c sharp demo code and i will click on commit we have the option here commit and as well as here so i will click on this commit and now you can see in push we have one means we have to push one changes that will be reflected to our repository if you can see now that changes will be not there in our repository okay let's replace it and see there is no changes we have only readme.md file okay now time to push means upload this code to the repository now click on push this is the main branch here i wanted to submit so now click on push let's start pushing and now you can see that one is removed from here there is no changes here you can see here there is no changes so now if you can see in the repository replace it you can see the folder and all the files are uploaded to the github okay 
all the files are uploaded to github this is how we can submit our code to github or you can upload our code to the github now what i wanted to do i wanted to add some file here or i want to change here okay edit it and change this change from github okay and commit the changes with some message added comment okay commit directly to main branch i have only one branch so i will directly submit to main branch commit the changes now if you go to the source tree click on fetch to get all record or changes from the remote repository click on ok you can see one changes because i have changed one place right so there is one change it is showing and then we have to click on pull let me first show the changes in local project you can see here we don't have any comment what we added in github okay you can see here i have added this comment but it is not there in our project right so how to get that changes go to source tree click on pull okay click on pull now you can see there is no number showing here in pull now let's see in our code this is updated right means latest code is here this is how we can push and pull the code using source tree and if you can see the history you can see here the author name and date when we submitted and this is the branch name this is the comment right in initial comment you can see readme.md file because when we are creating the repository i have added this right and you can see in second commit i have added these files and these comment okay and this thing i have added from the github itself this comment okay this file at 11:49 am okay this is what we can do from git source control we have the branch we can create the branch we can merge the branch we have multiple option here you can see all the branch here in remote this is the remote branch you can delete this branch but it will not delete from our remote branch okay let me show you i will delete this i can't delete because i have only one branch we have to switch the branch okay if you delete this then also it will be there okay you can again go to that same branch we have the stash option okay what it will do like i have changed something okay let me show you i will change something i will fix this okay now if you can see in source tree file status there is one file changed okay but i don't want to submit this change to the repository but i want to have this code to our local machine and also i don't want to commit this code okay because it may be changed so what we can do we can click on stash fix the spelling okay and click on okay without uncheck if you check this one then this change will be there i don't want to keep the change okay so click on okay you can see there is no changes and also you can see in visual studio there is no changes okay so 
now I wanted this change so how we can do we can go to this stasis and click on apply stas delete stas ok we have to apply click on ok delete after applying do you want to delete this stas after applying if you want then you can click on this and click on ok you can see this is removed from that stasis and this is updated to this thing ok now I want to submit this code to github I will add the comment fix the spell mistake and instead of commit and push we can directly commit and push using this click on push changes immediately and click on we have to first stage, stage right click on this and now we can commit then it will be committed and also it will be pushed to that our branch You can see this code. I will replace it. See the change is updated here, right? I hope you understand how to push, pull, and commit the code using the source tree.